hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to create jQuery toggle button login and registration form using bootstrap 4 now I'm reloading the browser and here we got the final output and notice the registration deal is hide when I click new user registration it's showing registration with toggle button switch label has been changed to login when I click login we got the login controls and the toggle button control label has been changed to user registration if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates I'm using notepad plus plus for this video tutorial a new one page I'm adding simple HTML code HTML, I'm closing HTML tag, header section, I'm closing the header section. Body, I'm closing the body tag. Now inside this body tag, I'm adding send tag, adding h1, closing h1 tag. How to create jQuery toggle button with login registration form using Bootstrap 4.0 adding horizontal line after the header tags now after the horizontal line I am adding two div containers div I am closing the div container and this div id is equals to login div the second div id is equals to now the first div container login I'm adding two text box controls one for the username and the second one for the password and one button control field set I'm closing the field set tag inside this field set I'm adding legend tag The legend tag is the login. Let's add the username. Input type is equals to text. Let's close our input text box control. Add break. Password. Input type is equals to password. Break. and the last one is a button control input type is equals to submit value is equals to login let's close the button control after adding the login controls the next div container which will be the registration form instead of writing the whole code just copy this one I'm testing here registration username and password repassword country input type is equals to text add break Occupation just copy this one here. And the button control, I'm changing the value from login to registration. And the last one will add the horizontal line after the second due container. That's it, we have just finished the designing part. Before adding the jQuery toggle functionality with bootstrap, let's save this file 
I'm saving this file at the desktop. jQuery bootstrap turbo dot stm save. Let's check the output. And this is a file. And here we got the basic output of that code which contains the header tags and two do containers, one for the login and second do for the registration form. Now my aim is I will add one toggle button control using bootstrap and jQuery functionality. The first thing we require the latest jQuery and bootstrap CDN links. First we'll get the jQuery CDN link type for jQuery latest CDN Google and from the search results I'm selecting the first one hosted libraries and the hosted libraries website notice at the corner contains there is a jQuery click that one you can find different versions of the jQuery snippets I'm choosing the latest version which is 3.3.1 let's copy this one let's add in our HTML page in the header section. After adding the jQuery, now we require the latest bootstrap CDN also. Again, switch back to the Google form and search for getbootstrap.com. It's an official website for the bootstrap. The current version is 4.2.1. Get started. And here we got the CSS link. Let's copy this one and add in our HTML page. Now we require two more CDN links, which are the bootstrap toggle CDN links. For that, again switch back to the browser and type for bootstrap toggle.com. And this is the official website we can find the latest CDN links for the bootstrap toggle functionality. Let's copy these both links which are the CSS and JS files and add in our project header. After adding the required CDN links now I am adding the checkbox control after the horizontal line in the body tag. I am adding the simple input type is equals to checkbox id is equals to jquery bootstrap toggle t-o-g-g-l and I'm adding the property checked I'm closing this input checkbox control tag and friends here f-i-e-l-d f-i-e-l-d full set now before adding the bootstrap classes to this input checkbox control first we'll check the output how it looks let's save this file I'm reloading the browser so notice here we got the checkbox control now my aim is I'll make this checkbox control to the bootstrap toggle switch button data toggle is equals to keyword GTL toggle. I'm adding the default bootstrap styles to this checkbox control. Data on style is equals to info data of style is equals to info. After that, I'm adding the labels to this input checkbox control data on if the switch box if the toggle button is on I want to display the message label is a registration data off login that's it after adding the bootstrap properties and classes to this input checkbox control let's save this file we'll check the output reload the page and notice after adding the bootstrap classes and properties to the checkbox control uh, the checkbox control become the toggle switch button now I'm adding the jQuery functionality 
when it's in login mode i want to show the registration form when it's in registration mode i want to show the login form so switch back to the coding part again now let's make this user registration save the file in the header section i'm adding script close the script dollar document dot ready function now in this function the first thing i want to hide this registration due container so dollar between double quotes I'm adding the div ID of the registration hash dot hide method. When page loads, the registration due tag will be hide. Dollar between double calls. I'm adding the checkbox control ID, which is a toggle switch button. The switch function on here dot change function if dollar this dot if the property is checked the checkbox is checked between double quotes checked double equals to true dollar I want to show the login due tag due container hash login due dot show method hide this registration due else part else part copy this one and paste here so now login due I want to hide and registration due I want to show that's it we have done the complete coding part let's save this file we'll check the output on the browser now I'm reloading the browser and here we got the final output and notice the registration due is hide when I click new user registration it's showing registration with toggle button switch label has been changed to login when I click login we got the login controls and the toggle button control label has been changed to user registration that's it